One of the more common scenarios when using Crowdin is to upload a single resource file, get all that translated, and then of course, download the resource file across all the different locales. But of course, there's lots of different ways you might use Crowdin and there's lots of different workflows that you might use to localize your app. For example, you might not have a single resource file to upload. You might be uploading your strings manually or a different team might be uploading your strings. For example, a design team might be using a tool like Figma or Sketch and the Crowdin plugin to upload strings directly into Crowdin. And also for a lot of products, you might have more than one application. So you might have an Android, a web app, uh, and also an iOS app. And all of these apps are gonna need different types of resource files. So this is where Crowdin bundles come in. So today we're gonna have a quick look into Crowdin bundles and how to set it up in literally just a couple of minutes. So let's get started. So Crowdin bundles are a way to export strings into different file formats. So there are a few built-in formats such as Android and iOS, but you can find more in the Crowdin marketplace, as well as a plugin to build your own bundler, which we'll have a look into later. You can work with bundles in all the usual ways. So today we're just gonna do it directly on the Crowdin platform, but of course you can integrate with it using the, the CLI or the API or whatever works best for you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to leave a link to this documentation in the description below. This goes over a bit more of the use cases and how to use it and all the different ways of using it, but we're just gonna go right into the tutorial. So I'm gonna head over to the Crowdin platform here now. I've already got a project set up called Crowdin Tutorial. This is one I've used in the past for a separate tutorial. All we need to know here is there are two languages that we're translating into French and Italian. These have already been translated and I think I have a few strings inside of here as well. Yeah, they came from an en.json file, but like I said, it doesn't actually matter where the sources come from whether it's a file or strings entered directly. This is all about where the output is gonna go. So I'm gonna head over to the translations tab here and what we wanna look for is the target file bundles here. So inside here, all we're gonna do is we're gonna add a bundle. And again, this is basically an output to one of your apps and then we're gonna be able to, to download them. So let's see what that looks like. I'm gonna click add bundle here and I'm just gonna add one for, let's do one for Android and we'll do one for iOS later on. One of the first things we need to do here is enter the source. So in my case, like I said, it's the EN JSON file, so we can open that out here. So I'm just gonna paste in basically the path that takes us directly to this single file. But again, you can basically choose wherever your sources are coming from. Next up, we can add a label if we want to. Now the label is just gonna enable us to filter the strings within the sources. This is for a scenario where you might have specific labels targeted towards the different apps. In this case, I'm gonna leave this empty, which is basically just saying, no, I wanna take all the strings from the source and we're gonna translate them all. I'm gonna go down to the target file here. I'm gonna pick Android for this one because this is the, the, the Android bundle. We'll choose macOS or iOS for the, for the next one. And actually probably worth talking about now the different target files. So I mentioned earlier on, there's a marketplace for different formats. Um, so there is a store here. If we open it up, I've actually just got it open here on this other tab. And you can see in this marketplace, there's already a few kind of the more common file formats. You can see there's a properties exporter, there's the, um, a YAML one, a CSV one, kind of JSON. And then the one that I'll definitely point towards is this custom builder here. This custom builder here is basically gonna allow you to do whatever you want if you have your own kind of custom or proprietary format that you need to adhere to. So in this case, what this plugin allows you to do is basically build your own API, and then you're gonna paste the URL of your API into the config here. And then what Crowdin will do is anytime you're trying to bundle, Crowdin is going to call out to your API with the body of the strings and you can read this documentation to kind of see the format of the strings and all the information that you get. And then you're just going to respond in a format that again, Crowdin is able to understand and that's it. So basically what you're doing here is you're letting your own APIs handle the actual transformations from the raw strings into whatever file format you would like. So this has got a few useful functions and good documentation to allow you to build your API and basically output whatever format you need to. So I'm just gonna head back over to the Crowdin app here. And then the final thing I'm gonna put in is actually just the two letter code here. So basically this is the output or the, the file pattern for the output that you want. So in this case, I know that Android ones are gonna be all XML. So there's a few placeholders that we can choose from the you can see there actually if I just remove all this you can see all the different placeholders that you can use and you can basically put in whatever directory structure you want to in my case I'm just keeping a flat directory structure and if I scroll up to the translated files here I can basically see what the output's going to be in my case I have a French and Italian and I want it just to be flat so that's what's going to do so I'm just going to hit save here I'm going to add one more bundle and this is just going to be an iOS bundle so it's going to be the same here I'm copying in the same source file I'm going to select Mac OS and then I'm gonna scroll down. Again, I'm gonna do the same thing here. Oops, two letters code, and this one's gonna be dot strings. And then I'm just gonna hit save. So the final step here is basically to just download the files to see that it has everything we want. So you can download all the files or you can target individual ones. Like I said before, this can be targeted using the CLI or the API. In this case, I'm just clicking the buttons and I'm just gonna download them manually. So I'll just, I've just downloaded the Android one. I'll download the iOS one as well. And now if I open up my finder, these are the two bundles. 
I can kind of unzip those two. Let's open both of these two here. And you can see we have both string files here. So let's just open up these two. And we have the two XML files here for Android. And you can basically just see that we have the Android ones here on the right hand side that are translated into the, the French and the Italian. And we have the uh, iOS strings here, which are again, translated into French and Italian. Now, there you have it. That's how quickly you can get started with bundles. Now, of course, I've only touched on the very basics here. There are, of course, more options and customization that you can add to these bundles. For example, you can choose to only export translations that have been approved and all the different other configurations will be in the documentation again, which is linked below. So I think I'm going to wrap it up there. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below or you can reach out to the crowd and support team who are available 24-7. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day and I'll see you in the next one.